Hello everyone, it's Renegator DTA signing in. Today I'm going to talk to you about my number two spotlight video pick. It's a guy named Dizomitz, um, aka Tom Denardi. Uh, he likes to do uh, like box office prediction, box office results on movies, movie news, mostly, you know, like news and stuff like that. He's got a really cool channel. Um, also, he was my very first subscriber. Without him, I wouldn't be really doing these videos and really gave me the confidence. And this was before I even had a video. Um, well, since the success of my first Spotlight video, Dice2310, I decided to make another video um, to feature. And I really hope you enjoy, folks. It's going to be really nice. He has a nice vlog. Um, here's the video. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of the Daily Dizzle. It's Thursday, July 14th, 2011. Tommy Dizzle Mid Series, as always. We're getting a little bit of a late start and I'm exhausted, so um, let's just wrap this up as quick as we possibly can. Of course, the big news that I could care less about Harry Potter finally comes to an end as of tomorrow. It's already been released around the world and it's breaking all sorts of opening records in the countries where it's already debuted. In America, it's already sold $32 million worth of advanced sell tickets, which is a new benchmark. Uh, it's currently setting its sights on breaking the midnight release record. That record is currently held by Twilight Eclipse with $30 million. So maybe if everyone who uh, purchased their advanced tickets runs out tonight to go see it, at least the Sparkly Vampires will have one less record to do it Now moving on to other news from the day, bits and pieces. Anyone who's seen Home Alone knows Robert's Blossom. You won't know the name offhand, but you'll know him as the creepy neighbor that uh, Kevin McAllister is scared of the whole time that ultimately ends up being a good guy in the very end. Unfortunately, he's dead now. I'm not going to lie. The most surprising uh, bit about that news was the fact that he was actually still alive. Considering he was an old badass man, but even in 1990 when that movie came out, man, did he look old. Another upcoming movie news, the Amazing Spider-Man 3D trailer will be making its way to cinema soon, with Captain America coming out next week, uh, rumor is that it's going to be attached to some of the prints, maybe not all of them, but you can expect to see the Spider-Man trailer popping up soon, hopefully it ends up, you know, kind of washing the bad taste of Spider-Man 3 out of everyone's mouth. And to round out today's Daily Dizzle, while any NBA fans will be disappointed with the lockout looming, at least one of the stars of the game who just retired this year is going to be making his triumphant return to make sure that the games are less coherent sounding but more entertaining. Shaquille O'Neal has officially been signed to the TNT NBA coverage commentary team. All I know is the first game of Shaq and Charles Barkley at the same commentator's booth is going to be one of the most entertaining things in my life. So please don't let the lockout last too long. I need to look forward to that. I need to be able to count down to an, uh, a great moment in history like that. That'll do it for today's show, but thanks for joining us here as always. Be sure to check back tomorrow where we'll take a look at Harry Potter's midnight launch. Let you know if it was able to shatter any records. We'll also take a look at the rest of the movies this weekend. Let you know if Transformers stands a shot at holding up good with the fact that Harry Potter's cutting into its 3D screen count. You also got Winnie the Pooh launching as counter-programming. And the R-rated comedies seem to be all by themselves, so maybe they'll hold up decently as well. But we'll have more analysis on all that tomorrow. For the Daily Dizzle, I'm Tommy Dizzlemitz. We'll see you back here on Friday. Thank you, Tommy Dizzlemitz. Uh, it's been great collaborating with you and supporting you and like checking out your channel I'll post a link in the description below um, you know you've been a really great friend and I'm really glad I was able to meet you um, through Facebook and YouTube but uh, people check him out subscribe to him um, if you really like his work you know give him a comment a like <laughs> um, but uh, that's all the time I have for today. That was my number two pick. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is Renegator DTA signing out.